Welcome to the group video critique of your fantastic watercolour paintings from last month. All hopefully inspired by my live demo. So I'm thrilled to share my thoughts, focusing on what's great about each piece and maybe offering a small suggestion for improvement. So hello, I'm Tim Wilmot, watercolour painter and tutor. As many of you know, I've had the uh, privilege of leading live online watercolour workshops for a number of years now where I create and demonstrate a painting uh, while you follow along with me. And last month we painted this scene in the coastal city town of Fuengarola on the Costa del Sol in Spain. Now you don't have to paint in my style. It's really interesting when I see everyone's painting, uh, everyone's different interpretation of the same scene. Now this workshop, all these workshops are open to painters of all levels. Uh, beginners and advanced, everyone's welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be offering constructive feedback on each of your paintings that have been sent to me. And uh, my critiques are based, please, on my own perspective. I'll be highlighting aspects which I admire about each piece and also just uh, a small tweak or improvement, hopefully, on, on them as I go through, just to help you refine your skills uh, a little bit further. Remember, we're all learning, we're all uh, improving as time gets on, and we're going to grow together by doing these joint sessions. So what I'm looking for uh, specifically in this scene is the, the other drawing skills with the perspective. We're looking at the one of the main squares in Fangarola and um, the main church in Fangarola here. We're looking against the light, but flanked left and right, we've got these apartment building so there's there's a bit of perspective going on here and so we've got to get that right the drawing skills of the perspective trying to get a balance to the composition as well during the demo i mentioned about things that i would um, remove from the scene well um, one thing was the the badly placed sign there maybe making that a little bit smaller trying to make that a little bit less um it's trying to divide the scene uh, from a left and a right side. The placement of the church and the bell tower as well, trying to make that too central. And then quite obviously this van, that we're actually looking from the other side of the road, over the, over the road, a couple of uh, carriageways, over the road, central, uh, central reservation there. And then we got the church um, immediately in front of us, a few people milling around, um, um, at the base of the church but trying to I, I discussed about removing that van it just really didn't do anything from a composition point of view and also uh, I'll be looking at different watercolor painting techniques as well because we're looking into the light we can play on those silhouetted shapes and, and also areas of contrast as well light against dark dark against light for example the the uh, parasols there against the slightly darker background, the light hitting this little kiosk here, the light hitting the tops of these trees as well, um, and these clipped bushes, these clipped bushes, the circular um, box type bushes there, and then these sort of clipped bushes on that central reservation, and lovely shadows coming out, coming out from those as well. So a bit of light and dark going on there as well. Now, as we see, everyone's painting. Please bear in mind that these um, photos are taken on their own devices. They may not be exactly correct. I haven't filtered them or, or docked them in any way, so please bear that in mind as regards different size images and resolution and lighting conditions. Now, if you do want to take part, uh, you can see all my events on my event page, crowdcast.io slash at Tim Wilmot. Uh, there you'll see this workshop, which you can still do, and all the previous ones as well. The next one will be, they not normally do them in the middle of the following month, so happy to uh, see you on the next event. So I'll be starting off with the subject for our painting project, as you can see here, and then I'll show you my painting very, very shortly, and then we'll dive into the attendees' paintings. So yeah, Fuengarola, against the light, the lovely church there, trying to get the feeling of this beautiful Spanish town, and the light coming towards us, playing on those, those values, trying to get, inject a little bit of colour as well into the scene also. 
lots of lovely colours of the warm colours, perhaps a little bit of coolness in the in the shadows as well, um, and a little bit of colour on some of those those uh, flowery bushes or roses on that central reservation. So that's the source photo that we shared. We uh, based our uh, based our, our painting on, on that. And then let's dive into my effort on the day. I went for a fairly loose feeling to the scene, trying to emphasize those shapes of the bushes, the triangular shapes of the rooftops of the, of the church. I think got the perspective sort of okay on the left hand side and the right hand side simplified those quite a lot there's quite a lot of sort of complicated architecture with the different balconies and terraces and um, blinds coming out from the different apartments but trying to simplify that left and right and then as we come down these successive layers of, uh, of the architecture coming down to ground level inserted a few figures figures catching a little bit of light a couple of figures there um, a figure over here. Uh, coolness of the shadow coming towards the, the ground. Um, on some of the bushes, a little bit of thick body colour just to try and emphasise some of the light um, coming on tops of those bushes. And the difference then, the, the, the value contrast of the light at the top with the darkness at the base of those bushes. And some nice shadow shapes as well and brush marks to finish off with coming towards us. So that's my effort then. Let's go through the, the attendee paintings in alphabetical order. First up then is Albertus. I think the perspective looks pretty good, Albertus, certainly on the left-hand side. Maybe on the right-hand side, we, we could be angled up just a little bit more on that right hand side and these windows are sort of, uh, maybe they could be a little bit narrower, I reckon. Apart from that, looks pretty good to me. Uh, love the, the way that you've uh, painted the church, very good indeed. Nice bit of light hitting the back of the church, maybe the light coming towards us and a bit of reflected light going, going up against that wall. Great figures in proportion as well. Not so sure about the the block of this shadow in this bottom right corner. Um, I think the light works well on the top of these bushes. I like the shape of that one there, that sort of triangular shape. And these trees are very well done indeed. Um, yeah, just not so sure about that, that um, the blocky nature of the shadow. And also as it's going over the as it's going over the central reservation, the the kind of edge of that shadow would sort of follow the line of the, the different shapes as well as it's going over. But lovely painting, well done. And Ashley, very bright. I love the colours of those blinds on the left. Perspective, very good. I like the balance of the composition as well with the these bushes here. And then we've got going further into the scene, we've got the, the trees, lovely light hitting the tops of those trees as well. Um, yeah, I think maybe, maybe on the left-hand side, it looks a bit too perfect, some of the balconies there. I think the way that you've done the buildings on the right-hand side, that looks uh, a lot better. Maybe if you'd have simplified this or had um, maybe... Uh, Less, less of these lighter areas here. It looks very, it looks too perfect, all the, the, the size of the, um, of the apartments there. But the, the church there in the middle is fantastic and the, the brightness hitting those, those bushes and the trees and the, the figures, lovely figures. Nice bit of light hitting. It could be a little focal point there, that light hitting the, that figure's hat. Well done, Ashley. And Barb, let's just zoom in a bit here, Barb. Yeah, good job on the perspective. Uh, maybe um, this, the top of this tree here, um, and it's a thing that I do as well, the top of that tree there, we've sort of got the, the line, the, the top edge of that building on the right, sort of hitting and aligned with the top. Okay, maybe they're a little bit different, that would be better. But um, putting that aside, 
Uh, lovely trees, very nice trees indeed. Figures might be a tiny bit too big, but they're good figures. Um, certainly um, the proportion of those figures, very, very good indeed. And you've, you've gone for the, the four um, bushes in on the center of evasion rather than my, my three. Um, that works really well. A nice kind of succession of shapes there. Nice light hitting those parasols as well. Shadows very good also, sending out the feeling of light coming into the scene. Yeah, nice one, Bob. Well done. And Bettina. Very bright. The perspective is good. Um, the, I'm not sure if the dry brush mark um, works on that right hand side. And, and on the left hand side, again, a little bit sort of overworked. It, uh, I, I think a number of us will have um, issues on that left hand side there, trying to resolve the complexity of those buildings. You've done well, so you've done a good go at it and trying to, trying to resolve all these different shapes of terraces and balconies and apartments. Uh, good, good, um, Drawing, painting of the church works very well indeed. Kind of gone a little bit darker maybe with the shadow on the, the shady side of the church facing us, just so you get a bit of extra contrast, you know, the light, the lightness of the roof compared to the darkness of the building. Figures are good. We're kind of lost in here what's going on. On. Maybe if the figures stood out a little bit more, uh, to me it looks like there could be a couple of figures there, maybe a few more figures, I'm not sure if that was your intention, but it looks like there could be some extra figures lurking in the shadows in there. So you could you could make some extra shadows, extra figures from these shapes here, like a head there, a head here, maybe, shoulders, if you, if you see what I'm trying to say. Uh, good parasols, shapes of the uh, bushes here, that blue shadow may be a little bit too thick for the light, uh, but the other shadows were really well. That, that's a nice shadow there. I think these, these, these three here might be too dark, but that one there, that's a nice colour of a shadow. Yeah, lovely scene, nice and bright. Well done. Thanks, Bettina. And Brian. Right, good composition. I like the three, uh, very authentic, uh, the three lights there and a, another lamp, another antique lamp over there. And with the church, we've got some extra figures. Perhaps the, you've gone for a darker roof. I think as we're looking into the light, maybe a lighter roof and a darker wall might be a better strategy. Uh, not sure if you're intending to put some buildings, um, Brian, over here on the left-hand side. I do like these bushes, the way that you've got them um, into the scene, the balance of those bushes in the scene, particularly these, these two on that left-hand side. Let's just zoom in. These two on the left-hand side, nice bit of body paint, um, which some people may not like in watercolor. I quite like it. Uh, you know, there's no rules in watercolor. You you want to you want to go slightly thick, thicker, more opaqueish with the paint. No problem at all. Maybe that figure there might be a little bit too. So I figure there a little bit too bright. That's a lovely figure actually. That's a very nice figure. That figure in white, but maybe just a little bit too bright, um, in that in that kind of entrance way there. Yeah, I think it's just said uh, the uh, the light and the darkness. But that church though is very well drawn. Very well drawn doing in the bell tower. Well done, Brian. Um, Caro, Carolyn, very loose, nice style. I like the, it's almost like a sort of palm tree you've got here, which of course you, you would have in that um, part of the world, um, various uh, palm tree um, uh, varieties down there. Yes, yeah, certainly looks um, quite, 
subtropical there and a, like a palm tree type uh, tree there. Birds in the sky filling that area. Maybe the church could be a little bit, that bell tower is quite light against the sky. I think if it was a bit darker, Carolyn, that would stand out more. Like the way that you've done the buildings left and right. It's got a nice style about it. Uh, you've, we, we had a road here in front of us, but you've, you've sort of dispensed with that. No problem at all. We're trying to create pieces of, piece of artwork here. And you've got, it could be almost like uh, an extension of the plaza here in, in the square, um, this side of the church. And these, these lines, these lines leading us into the, into the scene. Lovely figure there and dog. Yeah, nice style. Well done, Carolyn. And Christy. As I said, you don't need to follow my particular style of painting. And it's really nice to see um, other people's techniques and way of dealing with the scene. Here we've got line and wash and beautifully done as well. Precisely drawn. Uh, I think the perspective fantastic. You've moved the church over to the right. We've got more of the buildings on the left. I like the way that you've done the handle the complexity of the buildings on the left and then also left the foliage, the trees, the, the tree canopy here on the square, a little bit um, vague and misty and light, sort of um, open to the, the viewer interpreting in different ways, the, the way that the foliage is sort of cascading, covering that left-hand side. We've got some figures underneath the parasols, lovely figures here as well, a couple of figures there, different shapes of foliage. I like the female figure here walking towards us, walking through the bushes, crossing the road maybe. Strong, um, strong horizontals. Yeah, nicely drawn. Well done, Christy. And Colin. Yep, uh, perspective very good indeed. Nicely drawn church. Good. I mean, nothing's overworked. It's nice and fresh. Uh, to fit the figures. Now, that figure on the right-hand side, that figure works for me. That's a good figure. Maybe the two on the left-hand side, they're a little bit too thin or they don't stand out um, very well. I mean, the heads stand out, but maybe their bodies, um, yeah, maybe they could be just a little bit wider, tiny bit wider or, or larger in that in that space. Uh, nice trees and bushes, particularly like, particularly like that tree there. Very nice indeed. Yeah, got a nice bit of light hitting the top of the grass on that on that side of the street. Good shadows. Yeah, lovely scene. Well done, Colin. And Eileen, let's just zoom in here a little bit more. Eileen. I, li I like this sort of feeling of a glow coming from the light, the way that you've done the sky in that, let's just see if I can zoom in a bit more, the way that you've done the sky in that area there, and also a bit of glow hitting these um, parasols here on the left-hand side, very thick, very atmospheric. Not so sure we've got the feeling of the plaza, this sort of, um, pedestrian area around the base of the church maybe the church from a perspective point of view yeah the perspective is not quite there on the left hand side and the right hand side but we've still got the feeling of the the enclosure of the area with those buildings um yeah so where where these figures are maybe you know you've got you've got the base there maybe the base needs to be kind of there from a perspective point of view and then the figures you know, likewise, that kind of that kind of size, that kind of placement in relationship to the base of the church. Lovely foliage, nice sense of light as well. Um, these shadows, these shadows here, uh, try and connect the shadow on the ground with the shady side of the um, the raised uh, area of the central reservation. They just try and a little gap there. Just uh, connect that up. But I love to see what an Eileen. And Fauzia. Oh, sorry, I misspoke your name, Fauzia. F A X. 
to apologize. Fauzia, thanks very much. Uh, well, I like the perspective. It's like we're slightly over to the right and looking uh, more over to the left um, from a sort of the aspect of the scene. Uh, nicely done. Perspective. Not sure we're there on the right hand side. Left hand side looks better. Uh, like the way that you've done the blinds standing out um, beyond the the apartments there. The trees in the middle ground, I think they're just slightly overworked. The, the, the way that you've done the bushes closer to us, I think that works really well for me um, on those. Uh, be careful aligning the tops of these bushes exactly with the bottom edge of that shadow there. Just maybe they could peek above that um, line a little bit more. That foliage, the those little plants, those roses, or whatever they were, um, above that shadow, that will work better. Uh, figures, figures, nice figures. Yeah, so those, those figures are good. I mean, so you got the figure, a couple of figures there walking um, from right to left. Not so sure about this group here. Uh, maybe it's that light that's in the middle there. Uh, maybe they could be defined just a little bit better. Um, like the colour on the rooftops and the cooler value. Could have gone for a darker, maybe a darker, a darker, cooler colour for the wall of the uh, church chapel coming towards us a little bit more. But certainly got the feeling of light overall coming towards us. And I do like the the kind of the way that you've, you've slightly tilted the scene um, and we're looking down down the road. We've got five, we've got five bushes, five of these um, standards here, um, clipped bushes. Well done. Thanks, Pauzia. Yeah. Uh, Fiona. Right, so you've, uh, okay, so we've got a little bit less of the um, building on the right. I think the perspective is brilliant. Well done on that. Nice balance to the composition. Don't think we need those figures. They're a little bit too light there in the shadows, but the, the other figures are really good. Um, family group there, couple here walking towards us. The bushes, uh, I do like the way that you've done these bushes here, closest to us, um, these standards. Uh, very nice light hitting the top. Um, you, you haven't gone for my my technique I, I gave on the demo of going in with quite heavy body colour and a bit of uh, white gouache or gouache mixed with the paint to get that lighter colour. You've gone for a more sort of traditional um, lighter value then. I think that works really well. Um, yeah, excellent figures, fantastic figures. And a bit of uh, nicely done with the, um, the, the, the lighter value of the, of the buildings beyond the other side of the plaza. Well done. Uh, Isabel, very nice. Now you you've gone for a, a larger foreground, almost um, from the base of the church. Half of the composition is that foreground. I think that works really well. You sort of pushed it back a bit. I like it. Very very nice indeed. The trees are fantastic. Uh, the way that you've done those, the shape of these bushes as well getting a nice sort of natural edge to those bushes. The colours are superb. Um, look at the variety of colours we've got on the back of that church. Cools, a bit of warmth down there. Figures are good. Uh, maybe the arms are a little bit too, um, too static. Maybe there was a bit of movement in the arms or uh, they, they look as if they're a little bit too close to the body in some way. Um, yeah, so just, just practice your figure work there, Isabel. But the scene is lovely. I mean, the perspective, the way you've done those, these buildings here, uh, if we went back to the source photo, they, those buildings there are absolutely fantastic. Well done. But I do like those colours and the granulation that's appearing and the overall composition. Well done, Isabel. Uh, Joe. Yeah, Joe, again, you've, you've like Isabel, you've, you've uh, pushed that building back, uh, moved over to the right-hand side, works really well. Uh, 
perspective is very good. Um, not sure if we've got the feeling of individual balconies on that left hand side, but certainly, I mean, we don't want to put too much detail, do we, on things that are on the left hand side, on the right hand side. I want to try and keep it fairly simple, fairly basic. The focal point has to be in here. Could have gone a bit lighter with the rooftops, a bit darker with the shady side of the church. Figures, figures are good. Try and avoid figures with too much light around them when they're in the ship, particularly when they're in the shade. And this figure here could be a little bit more solid, all right, rather than these white um, patches down the middle of the body. Those figures over there, those figures are good. Nice figures there. Um, light hitting these bushes, you've gone for a slightly different sort of shape, more like a sort of goblet uh, shape. And I think that works really well. Nice shadows as well. Yes, yeah, so and you've got the feeling of light coming in. Well done. Thanks, Joe. Uh, right. Next is Joy. Let's zoom in here a little bit. It's another nice, loose style. Um, a bit like Carolyn's earlier. Uh, I do like the, the colour that you've got on that church. Can I zoom in a little bit more? Can. Uh, I do like the colour that you've got on that chapel. Very loose. A, a nice rich red. Uh, I think the soft edges work quite well also. The perspective is sort of there, but you, your style is very loose and atmospheric and lively. Uh, I like the way that with minimal brush strokes, you've depicted the trees. We've got a bit of splattering going on here, which I didn't do. I don't think I, don't think I did any splattering on the live demo. Sometimes I do for trees. Um, but I end up making so much mess and it goes over, <laughs> goes over my computer, my keyboard, everything. Anyway, but the, these, this splattering really works. Fantastic. Um, yeah. And the figures as well. They are superb. Excellent. Have you got the shadow? Have you got the sun behind us, maybe? With you've got the you've got the tree there, and then we've got the shadow. Maybe you've gone for that approach. Um if it looks like that is the case, but well done. I mean, move, be prepared to move where the sun is coming from, and then you can change the shadow configuration and direction of those shadows to help with the composition. Very nice painting, well done. Thanks, Joy. And Kayla, let's have a look at this. Very colorful. Maybe we haven't got lots of the lighter. It could have gone a bit lighter with the foreground, but it's a nice composition. Uh, perspective, is all right. Not sure if we've depicted the buildings on the left hand side. I'm not so sure about the first building and, and the second building, but certainly the buildings after that, they look fairly convincing. And I like, I like that. That's a beautiful kind of the granulation that's going on there. Church is well drawn, could be a little bit darker, maybe on the shady side of that church. Figures are a bit difficult to see. There are figures in there. I mean, there's one figure there. Um, there might be another figure there. So you've got, oh, it might be another figure there. So that, see if that was me, I would, I would put a little bit of highlight over the head of that figure and maybe a little bit of highlight on there, on, a, on the left shoulder. And then that would immediately stand out as a, another figure. Um, nice brushwork though, nice brush marks. Lovely parasols, very loose. Yeah, just I think just just need a feeling of a bit of light um, on that in that foreground area. But lovely colours though, and uh, nice nice greenery, nice green for the greenery. One and Kayla, uh, Kazim. Great sense of light coming in, well drawn. Uh, the perspective is brilliant on this Kazim, fantastic. Uh, you've handled the. The apartment buildings, those complex buildings on the left-hand side, really well. Nice angular shadows coming from those trees on the left. I like the the uh, formal bushes here in the in the middle of the road. Um, the figures are fantastic. Zoom into these figures. 
yeah, very good figures on the left and the right hand side. I do like the the figure there with the stripy top and the and the baseball cap. Nice shady side of the church as well. Yes, yeah, a super scene. Yeah, I'm maybe a little bit light here immediately on the left. Uh, perhaps it could be just, I know it's right, again, it's right on the left-hand side, but maybe just a tiny, tiny bit of um, some lines or some marks on that side just to give the feeling of the continuity. We've got the kind of, we've got the same um, colour value as the sky, perhaps something, maybe a bit of glazing or something like that over that left-hand side, but well done. Um, certainly a nice feeling of light. I do like this tree here. That tree, this so zoom into that tree. Lovely tree. Mixture of hard edges, soft edges. Mixture of uh, greens, cools in there as well. Well done, Kazim and Lillian. Nice composition. Perspective is brilliant. Uh, might be a bit confusing this area here, Lillian, at the base of that building. But it's very well drawn. I like the style of it, actually. I was going to say it lacks the sort of maybe colours, um, the greens, uh, those sort of bright greens. But I do actually like the style, uh, that kind of almost like a limited palette of colours. Uh, figures are very good. Very good indeed. Um, these two there. Shadows work really well. Also, perhaps they could be slightly darker. A darker back to that church. Similar in value to, or maybe not as dark as, but similar to that kind of darkness. But it's a nice style. I like it. Yeah, what well done, Lillian. Uh, Linda. Zoom in here. Very bright. Um like a few other people's um, paintings they've uh, we've got more of a foreground here I like I like the uh, the layout perspective is good the watercolor techniques very good as well uh, I would avoid maybe some of this light in certain areas um, for example the light on the top of those figures there um, some of the light on the the gutter there, possibly that light on the right hand side of the belt. I just close those up a little bit. Uh, but other than that, perspective very good. The trees, excellent. The, the composition, nice balance to it with the figures and these shadows coming out. Very nice indeed. Nice and loose. Yeah, so you've got the feeling of the the way that you've done the apartment buildings, the apartments on the left-hand side with those blinds, that works really well also. Thanks, Linda. Oh, we haven't got a, not that we need it, <laughs> we haven't got a bit of a shadow maybe coming out for that lamp. Right, um, so I've got another Linda here, right. Sue, Linda number two, nice and bright. Perspective is certainly good on the right, not so sure on the left. Maybe uh, there needs to be more of a, um, perhaps the building needs to be a little bit steeper, but also some definition to some, some maybe some more verticals on that apartment building on that left hand side. The church is very well drawn and painted. Figures are good. Just be careful with the heads being a little bit too large for the body shape. Just go down a, a size or two of those heads, keeping the, the bodies of the right size. The, the green there is very nice. Lovely uh, light hitting the tops of these bushes. Yeah, nice feeling of light there. And the greenery on the other side. Shadows. Um, Oh yeah, you've you've got so you've got your bushes right on the bottom edge of the paper. That's sort of all right. Um, yes, just uh, does it look a bit weird? 
the bushes being aligned on that bottom edge. Maybe if they were perhaps connected more with the this darker line here, that, that line there is very well painted, very uh, confidently painted that line there. So you got the feeling of light. Yes, just that building on that left hand side just needs to be addressed, Linda, um, on that left hand side there. These shadows look a little bit odd as well, um, the top part of the shadows. I think if the trees were bigger, then that would that would give the impression of, you know, that what's what's creating those diagonal shadows. But nice and bright. I think it's, I think it's these three bushes that give the that feeling of brightness. Well done. Thanks, Linda. And Liz. Nice composition. We've almost got a, a bit of a, a line of wash going on here, a little bit. Um, works really well. Those figures are excellent. I do like these on the left hand side, they've got a bit of great sense of movement about them. That slight sort of lean of those figures as well. All right. So with figures trying to make them too, too upright, get a bit of a twist, get a bit of bit of movement in the body, a curve in the body um, as they're as they're walking along. Uh, perspective is very good. Very good indeed. I, I like the style of this one. Maybe with these lines here. Uh, perhaps those lines could be more, perhaps those lines could be more like that, uh, just from a perspective point of view, all right? Unless, unless they are something that's coming out from the central, res central reservation there. But very loose style to it. I like your brushwork. Um, and so the perspective of the figure is absolutely brilliant. Nothing overworked. Nice transparency to it as well. Lovely colours on the shadow on the shady side of the church. I like that bell tower. Let's zoom into that. Fantastic. Yeah, well done, Liz. Thank you. And Marco. Just zoom in a bit more on this one. Yep, nice light hitting that foreground, very bright. You've captured that really well. Perspective, excellent. Good drawing, painting of the church. Nice bit of, uh, just the right value for the shade. So zoom into that shade, just the right value, excellent. Uh, figures are very good. I like these three here. And well, those two are great as well, especially that left-hand one, zoom in. Very nice indeed. Yeah, but again, again, you've got that movement of that figure, just that sort of slight lean. If I went from the top, middle, to the to the feet, you see that sort of slight lean off the vertical makes all the difference with that with that kind of sense of movement. Good bushes, lovely greenery, bit of body paint as well. Yeah, good direction of shadows. Yeah, very bright, well done. And Mark N. Yeah, uh, perspective very good. With the shadows, just be careful not making, not to make the shadows too uh, gray in color. Try and inject a little bit of color. I think we've got the right value there, Mark, uh, but just try and inject a bit of color into those shadows. Have you got a bit of color somewhere? Well, it's a little bit of color there, a bit of a warmish, greenish um, color to the shadows there. That's, that's cooler, definitely in there. Cooler, definitely. Um, zoom over the right hand side. That's a warmer shadow on that side. Yes, yeah, so I, I think um, just the main thing here is try and get in a uh, bit of a bit of extra color in those shadows. Perspective is very good. I like the way it's very loose on the apartment building on that left hand side. The parasols try and not make them too triangular in shape, like a sort of well, like a triangle. 
I'll just make them a bit flatter. Good figures though. Good bushes going along the middle. Excellent. Well done, Mark. Ah, oh, we have another Mark here. So that was that was Mark N, and this is Mark. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. Again, it's got a nice style to it, very sort of abstract in a way with the shapes of those bushes, the shapes of the windows, the shapes of the blinds. That works all right. Perspective is good. I don't think this looks, this looks a little bit odd, this bush here. We've got this bush here and it looks like the kiosk beyond it is sort of sitting on top of it. So maybe if, well, we can't do much about the placement of that, that bush because of the alignment with the other three. Those bushes are very nice, but maybe that kiosk, just as an idea. So we've got the top, but maybe we can just see a little bit, a little bit of it coming down and sort of caressing that right hand side. So we've got the We've got the bush shape there, if you see what I mean. So this might be a little bit darker. Might be a little bit darker in there, just to contrast with the bush a little bit more. Good figures, sense of movement with that figure there. Um, these figures as well, just be careful with uh, the heads going just a little bit too big. Um, maybe there's some other figures in the shadows. Yeah, try and make, I guess with some of these figures, try and make their Body's a little bit, and that figure there, try and make the body a little bit wider and the head a little bit smaller. I do like these, I do like these bushes though, these formal clip bushes along that central reservation. The way that you've, you, with your brush, you've made those brush marks, that works really well. And then these trees, yeah, nice, lovely trees. They're brilliant and the tree trunks as well, very natural looking, but the foliage is fantastic. Yeah, well done, nice sort of geometric style, abstracty sort of uh, contemporary looked at, colorful as well. What a mark, uh, Mary Pat. Nice composition, let's just zoom it board. Nice, oops, too much, let's zoom out. Nice composition, Mary Pat. Good job on the perspective. With the trees, maybe the trees, some of the dark, maybe there's too many hard edges, that's it. Maybe there's too many hard edges. You've, you've done well with the variety of the shades of green, that's excellent, but maybe there could be just some softer edges within the canopy of those trees. There's lots of hard edges and quite a lot of, um, a big contrast between the light parts of the green and the dark parts of the green. Maybe there was a, like that, that, that one's better. I reckon that one's better there because we've got, got a light green, a middle green, and a really dark green. Yeah, I think that would, and if there was some, just a, some soft edges in there, that might just make it a little bit more foliage like Maybe those trees on the left-hand side, they work better. They work better. Uh, perspective is very good. Church is very well drawn. I love the shadow um, that you've got there. Figures, 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 figures. Right. Um, heads might be just a tiny bit too small. And yeah, maybe the arms. Um, yeah, get the, the, these figures don't look as if they've got, I'm sure they do have arms, but maybe we could just have, uh, for example, this, figure on the left hand side, maybe there could be an arm coming out, I'm exaggerating a bit, um, maybe an arm closer to that side. So with the arms, try not to make them too symmetrical. So maybe this figure here has got an arm. Do you see what I mean? Something like that. And then the head, that kind of proportion. But certainly got the feeling of light coming to scene. These bushes, the clip bushes going down the central version, beautiful. Very nice indeed. Yeah, excellent. But uh, very good job on the perspective. What well on Mary Pat. 
and Mike. Oh, another line of wash. Let's just zoom out a little bit more. Perspective is brilliant. Very nice indeed. Church is very well drawn. I like the way that you've done the trees and the shape of those trees, very natural looking. And then we've got the formality of the, the clip bushes down the central reservation. Uh, with the figures, I think the heads may be, I think it's the fact that you've done like a sort of circle for the head. I think if you, can I see a figure that's a little bit better? Like that one there is a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I think with the heads, don't have a, a circle. It makes them stand out a bit more. Have, I think the way I might do it is do more of uh, like an upside down U and then continue with the shape of the body, um, the, the leg, something like that. All right. And then, yeah, not have, not have that kind of circle. It just think it looks a little bit odd uh, being, it sort of stands out a little bit too much as well. But everything else, brilliant, like it. Got the thing of light. I particularly like the way you've done the trees and the the uh, rooftop, the, the, the actual roof of the church is done really well. Maybe you, you've got a bit of shadow under the church, so you've got the lights sort of coming maybe more Maybe more overhead, maybe later in the day as it's gone round, as it's gone round to the west. A nice liner wash. Thanks very much. Uh, Nydia. Oh, very colourful with those rooftops of the chapel. I like that pink colour. I mean, maybe not true to the colour of the building, but I do like it. Uh, perspective is very good. Not, I, like, I like the way that you've done that apartment block with those dry brush marks coming in a sort of vertical direction. You know, doom, 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 doom. Very nice. Uh, figures are very good as well. You, you've, you, you've got quite some sort of opaque-ish, a little bit more than me, but it really works with these bushes, um, the, the, uh, uh, the light on top of the bushes as well. Shadows, expertly done. Now those shadows are very good because you've got the, you're, you're observing the, 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 contour of the ground so we've got horizontal ground then we've got a vertical well you're not going to see that line are you but but we sort of in our mind it, it's sort of going down that way but then the shadow continues here yeah expertly done well done thanks Nidia and Pablo very bright scene um, I'm not sure about the perspective is fantastic, especially on the left hand side. You've taken a lot of trouble over doing that left hand side and it pays off. It works brilliantly. Nice and bright scene, making a feature of the chapel. Uh, I think two things here. Maybe the trees could be a little bit larger. I mean, I know you're focusing on the architecture and that works really well. Um, but I think if there was a little bit more foliage, that would make it um, a bit nicer, a bit more homely, comfortable. Um, and a figure or two as well. It can look a little bit sort of um, ghostly like. Uh, it'd be nice to get in some figures. I'm not sure if it was your intention. You've got quite a level you've got you've got the the actual square being quite level on the left hand side then the right hand side is almost like a, a ramp going up is that your intention it works for me um that's fine we've got a ramp here you've changed the architecture completely uh we've got a pedestrian crossing or some kind of walkway here going up to the church but it would be nice to get in a figure maybe a figure you know a figure in here a figure or two and then we've got a bit of a, a journey going on you know people going to the church or milling around the square uh, church is really well let's get rid of that drawing tool church is really well drawn painted yeah nice bright uh, lots of middle values as well no no darks um maybe some darks in there might just create a little bit more impact darker shadows for example on the white church right uh pam Zoom in a bit, very loose. 
perspective. Um, not sure we've got it there, but you, you've you kept it really simple, left and right. You've moved the church a bit more to the left, so we've got more to play with on the right. Uh, the trees work really well for me. Not so sure about the small plants down that central reservation. Um, it's a bit difficult, me being a plant person, <laughs> it's a bit difficult to see what kind of species are. I think there's too many, there's, you've got two shades of green and, and the, 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 the dark green, the edges are too hard. It was a bit softer, maybe, um, as you applied the lighter green, as it was still down. Maybe you went in the darker green then, that might um, just blend things in a little bit more, make it more natural looking. We need to connect these shadows as well um, on the road to the vertical shadow of the, the raised bit. Um, lovely shape to these clipped bushes here. Nice, oh, that's a lovely green there of those two trees. The church is well drawn. Perhaps the top level could be a little bit wider. These, the, that top tier could be a little bit wider. Figures are good, but they don't stand out too much. We need to maybe make them a different color. The, the figures are, their clothing is a sort of similar, um, like that brown color that you've got for the, uh, the, the pedestrian area around the, around the back of the, the church. But it's, it's, it's very, it, it's creates a lot of impact. It's, it's sort of got the feeling of brightness, minimal, minimal brush marks, nothing's overworked. Lovely sky. Yeah, what well up, Pam? Uh, Ravi N. Very bright. Like it. Lovely sense of light coming. This is very bright. I need my sunglasses for this, Ravi. Uh, very bright indeed. I think if you'd have gone dark with that church, we'd uh, certainly have gone quite bright. This feeling of, it's almost like... Uh, the light's coming towards us, but maybe there's a white building or something behind us, and that's bouncing back into that church uh, a lot. Perspective is fantastic. Church is very well drawn. Figures, I love the figures, especially these two here. The way that you've got the light around them, perhaps the the, the child figure here, the, the head's just a little bit too big, um, but lovely figure, that, that figure there, fantastic. The way that the right leg it's just a little bit bigger to the left because the left leg's walking a bit further away. Um, the actual width of those works really well. That's a super figure. Uh, bushes are very good indeed. Lovely shadows. Um, perhaps try and connect the shadows, trying to make them a similar, similar value. So we don't, we've got that kind of hard edge between that shadow going across the ground and the vertical shadow of the uh, curb there. Yeah, but well done on the brightness and the perspective. Well done, Ravi. And Roger. Nice composition. Perspective. Perspective is pretty good. Yeah, certainly on the left-hand side. With the right-hand side, maybe it could be... Uh, perhaps we could be a little bit leveler for the these middle tiers there, these middle levels. Um, church is very well drawn, could have gone a bit darker with the shade um, on the, the shadow, the, the shade on this side of the wall. Beautiful trees, you've kept them quite formal, haven't you? Um, these trees, uh, but it, yeah, to try and connect in the ground, it could be a little bit darker at the base of that church. I think that's what's needed here, is a little bit darkness on the, on the bottom of the church. Figures are good. Uh, this figure here looks a little bit awkward. Maybe the head's a bit too big on that figure. Um, and then these figures here, try and get some movement in the figures and a bit of shadow as well to connect them with the ground or connect them with some object rather than just um, this this guy here or this, this figure here with the dark legs. Uh, maybe there could be a bit of a shadow. Just a, well, where, where that figure is, the distance of that figure from us, it would be a very, very thin shadow, but just trying to connect, connect it with the ground a little bit more. Um, a beautiful scene, well done. Yeah, well done, Roger, thank you. And Sally, let's just zoom in a bit more. Oops, 
Sally. So you've moved the church over to the right, works well, don't bother with the building on the right. Uh, we've got, I guess then we've got more of a gap to play with between the going down that left hand side of the church, going out into the, well there's a big open area to the square beyond um, as we go down the left hand side. And quite right, you've slapped in a couple of figures in there, nice couple of loose figures. That that is a focal point there. My eyes go there, straight away. Not the church, not the buildings, but straight there. I like that. Uh, the foliage is very good. Uh, not so sure about the, sh the shadows here. I, like, I like, do like the shadows. Perhaps they... Um, the pigment sort of dried. You've got to like a... A, a sort of dark edge to them in a way, but I do like, I actually quite like those shadows. I mean, this is what watercolour does. These sort of um, different effects that you can get. Love the paper as well. Um, nice, yeah, nice shadows. Uh, perhaps some of the bushes here are a little bit overworked, just a tiny, tiny bit overworked. And perhaps some of the areas could be a bit more solid in, in the, in the paint. Uh, we've got some quite lighter areas of paper showing through in there, for example. Perhaps that could be a little bit more solid. But I do like that area there. Just that area, fantastic. That's, that's exactly what you should do with a scene like this. Just think, you know, can I move that church way over the right? Not bother with the buildings on the right. Um, make more of a feature of the stuff on the left and, and widen things out. You know, make the street a little bit wider, create a bit of a focal point. Dark figures in a lighter background, just right. Well done, Sally. Uh, Saro. Nice per perspective. Nice and fresh. Figures are good. I think the figures there, uh, maybe those two could be just a little bit separate from this bush here. We've got the right-hand um, side of the figure aligned exactly with the left-hand side of that bush there. These bushes and trees are super. Just the right, diff, just the right shades of green that we've got, and the way that you've done your brush marks, you're getting a feeling for the the volume, the the shape of the tree, the shape of these branches coming out from the tree. Very nice trees, good shadows as well across the the foreground there. Um, church very well executed um, buildings on the left hand side yeah beautiful again lovely yeah well done thanks very much Saro Sylvie I, I like the angle of this central reservation just going uphill slightly works really well uh, perspective is fantastic very good I like the softness you got into these trees that is so nice the top of the canopy of these middle trees beautiful slightly obscuring the roof of the church there perhaps we could have got a bit more of a feeling of light coming on top of the church but you've got got the right kind of value of the shadow on this uh, on this side of the church the figures are very good indeed um, i'd be tempted this figure here to have a little bit of Highlight on the head. The head's just a little bit too big, but just a little bit of highlight on that head there. Maybe on the shot, shot on the shoulders, just to make that figure stand out a bit, bit more. Get a bit of impact of the light there. But lovely brushwork. Look at all this lovely brushwork of the plants going across the central elevation and the little standards as well. Very nice. Well done, Sylvie. Uh, Susan. Okay, so you've made more of a feature of the church. Nice loose style. There's maybe, for my liking, there's just a little bit too much of the whiter marks of the paper showing through. I think that if there was a bit more of a solid covering in certain areas, that would be, that would look better. The figures don't stand out. Um, like, like I just explained with the last um, the last painting uh, maybe get in a 
just to zoom in a bit more. Uh, what figure should I, uh, this, this figure here. So we've got a figure here, red top, dark bottom. I would say just get a little bit of light. Once you've done that figure, if you think it's the right size, get, in, get a little bit of light on the top of the head. A little bit of, bit of white paint, white gouache paint, small brush. Just get in those three marks and that would instantly make that figure pop a bit more, make it stand out a bit. Because it's a similar, it is darker than the shade, the shadow behind it, um, but just make it stand out a bit more. Uh, yeah, so getting a bit more of a solid cover. The church is very well painted, drawn, lovely. I love it. I like the sky as well. You've got a bit of warmth into that sky. Nothing's overworked, nice and fresh. Lovely granulation appearing. Look at all that lovely stuff that watercolour does. Yeah, well done, Susan. And next up, Vicente. I think Vicente is the last one. Right, Vicente. Yeah, so you move the church to the left. We've got nice perspective, like very dramatic uh, apartment building on the right hand side. I think perspective, left hand side works well. Right hand side, perhaps some of the middle tiers could be a little bit more um, coming down towards the horizontal, but a nice uh, edge there. Uh, very loose indeed. You've got a bit of a tree going on in the background. Church, very well drawn. Figures, very well drawn. Uh, could, maybe there needs to be something in this right hand corner here, just maybe another figure. Maybe a, 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 we've got a bit of a light area there, maybe if there was a, a light figure here, that might sort of stand out a bit more as a bit of, maybe the, the light's coming down, throwing a bit of light on that figure, a light figure against a darker background. But everything else is brilliant. Nice clip bushes going down the middle of the road, Shadow, beautiful shadows as well. Excellent, very good. Well done, Vicente. Well, that's um, the last of the bunch. And uh, well, thanks very much for persevering and, uh, and uh, sticking with me on going through the paintings. Uh, just a reminder, if you do want to take part, go up to my event page, crowdcast.io slash at Tim Watt. Love to have you along if you're a first timer. Um, give it a go, see what you think, and um, you never know, you'll be part of a future group video like this. Well, thanks very much. Hopefully you found that useful. Uh, and my take on um, interpreting uh, people's different watercolour paintings. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you on the next one. Bye-bye.